This video is brought to you by Train Signal, your home for IT training products. Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching the Getting Started with Google Apps mini series, and in this video, we're going to walk through the sign up process for Google Apps. We're also going to talk about at the very beginning the one requirement that you need for Google Apps, and then actually go to Google and sign up for an account. Let's go ahead and get started. The one requirement, other than obviously having a computer with internet access, is you're going to have to have a domain name, a .com, .net, .org name, to actually associate with your Google Apps account. Now, if you don't have a domain name, you can sign up for one when you register for Google Apps for $10 a year, and there's no other configuration necessary in order to go ahead and begin using the Google Apps services. However, if you do have an existing domain, we'll need to go in and configure a couple of DNS records with your domain registrar. Now, don't worry about this because I'm going to walk you through this in a future video. But uh, just know that you will need to, for those of you who are familiar with DNS, you will need to change a CNAME record and add a couple of MX records. It's not hard and it's not rocket science, but we'll worry about this stuff in a little bit later uh, edition. Let's go ahead and jump straight to Google Apps. Now let's walk through the sign up process. It's very simple. We got a nice big blue button over here to get started. Let's go ahead and click on it. We're going to select the edition that fits our needs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for the standard edition because, well, it's free. So we're going to click on sign up. And at this point in time, we'll actually have to have a pre existing Google account. Uh, to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video real quick while I sign in with Bubba's account and we will uh, continue on in just a second. We're all signed in and now we're ready to either use our existing domain name or if we don't have a domain we can actually purchase one and activate Google Apps almost instantaneously. We're going to go ahead and use a pre-existing domain name because a lot of you out there are going to have one of those already. So we're going to use our scenario domain name that we were talking about in the very first video sastrainingonline.com so we're going to tell Google Apps to go ahead and use my domain I'll tell you there. okay now whenever you're typing in your domain name Google is actually going to go back and check to see if your domain name actually exists so you can't just pull one out of the air that hasn't been registered yet alright we're going to tell uh, how many users we're going to be using now in our scenario Bubba only has six other folks in his company so we're going to go ahead we'll specify 10 uh, this initial number of users can always be increased remember that with Google Apps you have no preset limit on how many people you can actually have on your system so we're going to put in Bubba's name here and then also Bubba's email address. We'll just go ahead and we'll use uh, info at trainsignal.com. And then we will put in a phone number. There we go. And now Bubba is going to be our CEO. And now we're going to agree and understand that if we cannot alter DNS records for the domain, that basically we won't be able to use Gmail with our organization's uh, .com, .net, our domain name address. All right, our organization name here is, of course, according to our scenario, SAS Training Online. Please choose a type of business. We'll just select, in this instance, business software and our size of organization specify that and does your organization currently provide email accounts in our scenario we're going to tell it no because well that's why we are signing up for Google uh, Apps so we'll go ahead and we'll hit continue okay now we're ready to create our first administrator account so I'm going to put in here Bubba at sastrainingonline.com he will be our administration account and then we're going to put in a password and then put in the password again and do we want to receive tips news of news features etc etc I think we're, for right now we're going to skip that and we're going to skip the asking for feedback about the service as well now it's always a good idea to read through the terms and conditions 
and we're, we will simply agree with that and we'll continue with our setup okay we're finished with the setup and Google spun just a little bit to process our order and it immediately dumped us to the management page and at this point we're all signed up sastradingonline.com officially now has a Google Apps account this video is brought to you by train signal network admins number one choice for professional IT training where you'll find videos on Microsoft Cisco Linux CompTIA and more Come visit us today at www.trainsignal.com.